Today we are changing things up. My sis here is going through a lot of change right now. She's got her baby bump showing. And in the spirit of change, we thought it would be fun to build a changing table. The great thing about it, there's all you need right there. Click the link in the description box and you can download our free plans. First thing we're doing is building a frame for the side of this changing table. We're attaching the bottom runner one and a half inches up from the bottom to give the changing table some feet. To do this, you'll attach the runner pieces to the two by legs using wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. And the top runner will be flush to the top of the table and there will be a 12 inch gap between the top runner and that middle runner. First side done and now we are going to be attaching our side runners. And we have two smaller boards for this part. Where's the weirdest place you've ever changed your baby? Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I could knit. It's been so long since I've changed the diaper. What about you? You know those red wagons that you take to like the baseball, baseball games? wagons. I would change her in the back of that thing all the time. <laughs> Perfect. No modesty. <laughs> yeah. No judgment here. Okay, we have our short runners done. Now we're gonna add our, our next two legs to these runners. These will line up just like your long runners. That bottom runner will line up inch and a half from the bottom and your top runner will be flush with the top of the leg. You can download the plans, the links below, and that will give you all the locations for these pocket holes, making it really easy. The next part is going to be to add our three planks. Now guys, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna plank this other side. Awesome, okay, so at this point, we are going to add our shelves. We're adding three quarter inch pocket holes all the way around this board. Check out our How to Use a Craig Jig video to learn how to drill pocket holes. Now we're attaching the other long runners to the other side of the changing table and we're gonna do that with wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. So make sure when you put these pocket holes that you put them towards the bottom half of this board. Yeah. Which, on the plan, I do know that. Isn't that funny that I didn't do it while we were You gotta follow it. your own plan. <laughs> okay, done. Awesome! All right, guys, we are at a fun part here. So we've planned some really cool angles on this. And Ash, don't we have a video on that? We do have a video on that. Check our videos for how to use a miter saw and you can learn how to make miter cuts and bevel cuts and we teach you how to use a miter saw. See, we'll show you what we mean. Here's our center piece right here. This is just gonna go straight in the center and we wanna make sure these fit before we actually add glue to them. Then we've got both angle pieces and that's that angle cut that we're talking about right there. And those will fit securely in place. We're gonna add some glue and nail those down now. All right, side piece. Done. Okay. Only thing left to do is to attach that top. We're gonna flip the entire piece upside down, attach those using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws through all those pocket holes and into the top, you got yourself a table. You can stop right there, or you can build this frame if you wanna make it a changing table, that'll hold the changing pad. We're gonna build the frame using one by three boards. These are miter cut at 45 degree angles on each of the corners. We're attaching them with wood glue and one and a quarter inch bread mill. Hey Ash, did you tell them to click the bell? Click the bell guys if you don't want to miss a video. You can click the bell next to our subscribe button and you can get a notification every time we have a new video. Now notice on these long boards we have pocket holes. These are three quarter inch pocket holes that are going to go into this top. Use one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws through these pocket holes and this will hold our changing table pad securely in place. And the baby. And, and the baby. Just about finished. All we gotta do now is get some stain on it because that's what I'm doing in my room. And we love hardware. We decided to add some decorative metal corners painted black to ours. Just gives it an extra shiny touch. And once you do that, take a picture of it and share it with us.